Hi! Welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to compare integers with other numbers like whole numbers, fractions, and decimals. Let's recall about our idea about integers. Now, we know that positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. Zero is greater than negative numbers. And negative numbers is less than positive numbers. Now, in comparing numbers, we can use the following symbols, greater than, less than, or equal. So let's compare, right, greater than, less than, or equal in the box. So we have here negative 3 and 4. So now if you want to use the number line, we know that the number on the right side is always greater than the number on the left side. And we know also that positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. This is negative. This is positive. So therefore, negative 3 is less than positive 4. Okay, next. 10 and negative 15. So again, negative numbers are less than positive numbers or positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So this is positive and negative. So therefore, 10 is greater than negative 15. Okay, next we have here negative 5 and 0. So number on the right side of the number line is greater than on the left side. So if you can use that one, where is 0? Zero? 0 is here, and negative 5 is here. And negative 5 is on the left. Therefore, negative 5 is less than 0. Okay? So here's negative 5, and here's 0. Next, we have 0 and 9, positive 9. So positive 9 on the right of 0. Therefore, 0 is less than 9. Now, let's have this one. So, remember that positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. So, I have here a fraction, negative 2 third, but I have here 8 positive. And positive numbers are greater. Therefore, negative 2 third is less than 1. And here I have 0, and I have here negative 0 0.5. Take note, negative 2 third is not an integer. Negative 0 0.5 is not an integer. We are just comparing integer to other numbers. So again, this is negative. Therefore, 0 is greater because 0 is on the right of negative numbers. So that is now 0 is greater than negative 0 0.5. Now, look at this one. We are going to compare fractions that they are both negative. So, negative 1 fifth and negative 3 fifth. So, you notice their denominator is the same, 5. So, 1 fifth is not even 1. Okay? The value is not even 1. It's not a whole number. So, which means negative from 0, that is to the left. So, 0, it means that this one unit here from 0 to negative 1, because it, negative 1 fifth and negative 3 fifth didn't even reach negative 1. So, which means we're going to divide this into 5. So, let's divide from here to there, divide it into 5 because of this. 1 out of 5, 3 out of 5, that's what we're going to get. So, that's 1, 2, okay. So, we have now... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this first line here, from here, going here, that is 1, negative 1 fifth. And next is negative 2 fifth. Next is negative 3 fifth. Next is negative 4 fifth. And then this is negative 
5 over 5 or equal to negative 1. Now, who's on the right? This is negative 1 fifth. And negative 3 fifth is there. So on the right side is negative 1 fifth. So therefore, negative 1 fifth is greater than negative 3 fifth. Okay, what about if you are going to compare decimals here? Negative 2.62 and negative 3.65. Okay, you can line up these numbers. Okay, for you to easily identify. First, you need to compare the whole number here. The first one here, negative 2 and negative 3. Okay. Who is bigger, negative 2 or negative 3? Who's on the right on the number line? Remember, in negative numbers, the greater the number, the lesser the value. Okay? So here, it means that negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So just compare the whole number. So we can now say that negative 2 and 62 hundredths is greater than negative 3 and 65 hundredths. Now, let's have more uh, examples of comparing decimals. So, I have here 3 and 50 hundredths compared to 3 and 56 hundredths. So, for you to easily compare them, you can line up them. And first, compare their Whole number, the same. So we can compare them, they are equal. Next, the tenths. And they are also the same, so we can compare. And check the last one, 0 and 6. So we can compare this two. Now, 0 is less than 6. So therefore, 3 and 50 hundredths is less than 3 and 56 hundredths. Okay, what about here? They are negative numbers. So again, line up them. So first, compare this one. Negative 6 and negative 4. Now, imagine on the number line. Who is on the right? So if you have difficulty, you can draw a number line. Like that. Okay, you can say this is negative 4. So, where is negative 5? So, negative 4, this is negative 5. And this is negative 6. Here is negative 3. Okay, now negative 6 is here. Negative 4 is here. So, negative 6 is less than negative 4.5. Five, or negative 6.5 is less than negative 4.5 because negative 6 is on the left side. Negative 4 on the right, so negative 4 is bigger than negative 6. So that's how you're going to compare decimals. Compare first the whole number, and then if they are equal, you need to proceed to the next uh, place value. Now, don't forget that in comparing numbers, we use the following symbols, greater than, less than, or equal. And also, please take note that positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. Negative numbers is less than positive numbers. Number on the right side on the number line is greater than on the left. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!